You need more proof? Biggie ain't here, so Big can't give you no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts. He dead. Hmm. What are you talking about? I came here. I had to open up the doors. So you saying you I don't, mean, you, 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 you don't mean, steal from artists is what you're saying? Never. Never. So how never. does a narrative like that happen ne with so many different ne people? It was, a, it was like a group. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You ain't want to see no Puff without Mace or Mace without Puff. When you yeah. saw him, you saw me, yeah. me, him. Music mogul P. Diddy has once again found himself caught up in the messy controversy around the unsolved murder of iconic rapper Tupac Shakur. A new twist in the nearly three-decade-long saga emerged after it was recently revealed that authorities in Nevada had searched a home linked to Dwayne Keith D. Davis, a suspect who has since been arrested and arraigned. And you said that Tupac pulled out a gun? It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Did you actually see a gun? Oh, shit. Keefe's nephew, Orlando Anderson, has long been thought to be a primary suspect in the rapper's K. But Keefe has also claimed he was an accomplice to the murder on several occasions. Keefe has in the past spoken on how he first met Diddy, who is alleged to have ordered the hit on Tupac, and how he regrets ever crossing paths with him. If I wouldn't have ever met him, I wouldn't have ever been involved in this BS, he revealed. I would have never met the brother. I never would have been involved in this BS. LAPD detective Greg Carding, who handled the case back in 2006 before coming to the conclusion that Diddy put a $1 million hit on both Tupac and Knight, who were his rivals, responded by slamming the LAPD. He's making a mockery out of the justice system, and the public perception is that Tupac's murder case is of little interest to the LVPD, he said. The optics on it are horrible. But now, it appears Diddy, who also has a terrible history with his own artists, fears that some of them will come out to testify against him in the renewed case that has attracted huge public interest. So, just who are some of the artists who are likely to testify against the bad boy mogul? Let's find out. The beef between Diddy and his former Cine Maze has been going on for years now, and that means the welcome back hitmaker, once a close confidant of the bad boy founder, won't mind taking to the stand to expose his ex-boss. In March this past year, the Harlem World rapper went on Instagram Live and expounded on why he chose to lyrically call out Diddy on his song Oracle 2 Standing on Bodies. When I see the hurt and the pain of other people on Bad Boy, that motivates me to say something, Mace told nearly 1,000 people watching the feed. So, I don't be deemed as a person who just made a bunch of money and turned a blind eye. I'm not going to be like the rest of the people around Puff that don't tell him he's wrong. I'm not going to be like the yes men around him that see him ruining people's lives and never tell him he's wrong. More people on here will tell me I'm wrong, but won't say anything to him. They'll judge my beliefs. They'll judge my Christianity, and they'll say nothing to Puff. They'll say nothing about it's a concert for Biggie, and Biggie's own daughter couldn't get in. They don't say nothing about that. But all of his friends got 50 and 60 tickets. We're done with your games. Mace seemingly came out of nowhere with shots aimed at Puff on the new song. He doesn't name Puff, but his bars are clearly directed toward the bad boy founder. Since Kane Ked Abel, I'm able to K Kane love don't steal. My end change your name. May spits in the second verse, a reference to Diddy's name change in 2021. Yeah, I'm just a Harlem N reppin' down a Vegas strip with my own Suge U from Mont Vernon. N, go and rep your own hood, Mays later spits. I'm not hating on your Billy Worth right now. I'm only saying what you really work. You ain't no architect. You just a N who knows how to market death. Go pay his mother what she really worth. N. Clearly, the rapper knows a thing or two about Diddy's crimes. And from how bitter he is, the I'll be missing you crooner should be worried about what Mace may tell the authorities. Mace is formerly one of Bad Boy's biggest artists, releasing his multi-platinum debut album Harlem World in 1997 and the follow-up Double Up two years later. 
He later retired from rap to take on a life as a preacher, but returned to the game in 2004 with the LP Welcome Back. In the years since, Macy has released music sporadically, including the 2017 Cameron disc The Oracle. Like several former Bad Boy artists, Mace openly held a grudge against Puff due to the CEO's alleged shady business practices. In 2020, the rapper claimed Diddy refused a $2 million payment Mace offered to repurchase his publishing from the